Sometimes, when using GitHub Actions, you might want to push your code to a branch and not trigger the Actions workflow. Let's look at how we can use keywords to make that happen. Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset, and today we are looking at GitHub Actions and how to use keywords in your commit message to stop an Actions workflow from running when we do a push to the main branch. You can skip workflow runs triggered by the push and pull request events by including a command in your commit message. Any of the following commands will work when included in the commit message of a push or the head commit of a pull request. And yes, the square brackets are needed at either end of the command. Skip instructions only apply to the push and pull request events and only apply to the workflow runs that would be triggered by the commit that contains the skip instructions. Now, let's look at how we can skip a workflow run when we do a push to the main branch of our repository. In this demo, we're going to show how you can make a workflow not run when I do a push to the main branch. To start off, let's go into my .github workflows folder and let's look at my workflow. My workflow has a display name called skip workflow push to main so that we'll know what the name of the workflow is. We can see that it is triggered on a push to the main branch. And all this workflow does is it has one job with one step that just doesn't echo out to the command line. Now we can see this workflow execute by say modifying the readme file. The workflow should run. And down here we can add a commit message. Workflow should run. And you can see I'm gonna commit directly to the main branch. So when I commit those changes directly to the main branch, and then we go to the Actions tab, we see that the workflow is running. It's gonna be queued up, it's gonna execute, everything looks great. But let's say I wanted to make a change, push it to the main branch, and of course this could apply to any branch, but let's say I want to push it to the main branch, but I don't want that workflow to execute. Well, I can say modify the readme file. We'll add a comment, workflow should not run. And here in my commit message is where I can use those different keywords that we saw on the slides. So for example, I could put skip CI. And when I commit this message, then we'll see that there is no action that's run. The workflow did not execute as we would expect. Let's make another change. And let's make another change. And we'll say workflow should still not run. We'll commit again to directly to the main. But this time we'll say shouldn't run, and then we'll just say no CI using one of the other types of messages we can use. And I'm going to commit that change. And once again, we will see that the workflow did not run. And finally, let's make one final change. Workflow should run again. And we'll add a commit message. Workflow should run again. And when we commit this, because we did not include any keywords, we see that the workflow was triggered. So using these keywords makes it really easy to stop a workflow from running instead of having to say, come into the actions tab and disable the workflow before you would do your commit. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to skip a workflow run. If so, 
please comment and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and smash that bell to be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching.